Hey there, it's Danielle with 4Patriots. Now, we all know that solar power is a pretty cool thing, right? The sun gives us limitless energy through its rays, which we can use to power everything, like a gigantic power plant way up in the clouds. But have you ever wondered, how exactly does solar power work? I know I have. That's why today I'm going to demystify solar power and explain, in simple terms, how scientists have developed ways to turn sunlight into electricity. Before we put on our lab coats, be sure to hit the subscribe button and please tap that bell right beside it. That way, you'll never miss our latest videos on everything from outdoor living, survival, and health. Okay, let's get to it. Solar Power 101. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to be using our Patriot Power Generator 1800 to explain the basics of solar energy. When the sun's rays travel down to Earth, they're absorbed by a solar panel, like this one here. Then those same rays are converted to electricity, which is stored in the generator's battery for easily accessible and usable power for you. So first, let's talk about the sun's rays. Of course, we all love those warm, sunny days, right? Basking in the heat, soaking up that vitamin D. In fact, our sun has been shining for the last five billion years, with about five billion years to go, according to the experts. That leaves us a lot of time to take advantage of solar power. From 93 million miles away, the sun's rays reach the Earth in about eight minutes. That's no big deal, right? But within those magical rays, microscopic bundles of energy called photons become the raw material, so to speak, of solar power. Simply put, the sun's rays provide the energy, and that energy is collected and absorbed by this. Now this side is full of positive ions, and this side is full of negative ions. As the rays hit the positive side, it energizes the panel, making even more positive ions. It's the difference between the positive and negative side that makes the electricity, just like in something like this. As the solar panel absorbs all that incredible energy, it then converts it into a safe and controlled DC electric current. That current travels down these wires and then is stored inside the generator's battery, which inverts that current into alternating current, also called AC power, which is the kind of power we use in our home appliances and devices. You see, the battery acts as both an inverter and a storehouse all in one, and is the perfect backup power solution for you against blackouts. And that's how we can harness the free and endless energy of the sun to power all these cool solar gadgets. Whether on a larger scale, like our Patriot Power Generator 1800 with its 100 watts folding solar panel, or a much smaller scale, like the Patriot Power Cell with its built-in 5-inch solar panel. We've got a bunch of other solar gizmos to choose from too. Everything from solar radios, solar flashlights, solar cookers, and more. Depending on the device and the size of the solar panel, the amount of power it can store will vary. But despite those differences, the science that makes solar devices generate electricity is the same, no matter the size. And the best features of solar power? It's limitless supply, zero pollution, and accessibility to everyone makes it the perfect choice for your backup power solution. Do you have a favorite solar power device or backup power source? Please let us know in the comments. We'd also love to know your best tips for any newbies out there harnessing solar power for the first time. Are there any pitfalls to avoid? We'd love to get your take on it. If you want more videos just like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Until next time, just keep shining.